In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a little tool called Media Info. Uh, recently, I've started working on uh, some files and moving around files and cleaning out files in my Plex Media Server. Uh, and I started using Media Info and to fix or to locate problems with some files that didn't have great audio and this was a great tool for identifying uh, the problem now I've had this on my website for a while now because when I put this on my website it was media info uh, version 17.12 and if you look it is now a newer version I can go to media info which is here I can go to the help go to about and now it's at version 19.07 so if you do install it by the instructions here by updating your uh, open up your terminal by updating your PPAs or repository then go sudo apt get or sudo apt install media info dash GUI the GUI is the GUI the graphical user interface it can be you can install just media info and use that in the terminal but I like the graphical user interface now to uninstall it you go sudo app get remove media info dot GUI now if for some reason it didn't get the newer version by installing it the Ubuntu repositories sometimes have some old older software so you can go down to the bottom here and I show you how you can download the newer versions or you can update your uh, PPA package here so I do have that instructions at the bottom and I do have step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the program now let's actually take a look at, at how to use it to start with you can view your data uh, your tag data or metadata for your video files or your audio files now here's something that I downloaded off of YouTube and I'm not going to play it it's not to, to watch anything it's to look at the the file information the information within the file now if you look here it's 5.1 surround sound AAC test now uh, YouTube supports the AAC now recently I've noticed when I was watching movies that I've ripped off blu-rays and off DVDs they didn't have great surround sound through my Plex media uh, or my Plex media server and my surround sound I have a Dolby, Dolby digital surround sound and it wasn't getting good sound it sounded decent but it didn't sound like it had true surround sound and to come to find out with it's because the files was ripped using AAC rather than AC3 and I'll show you how you can determine that by using this program you can right click on it you can open say open with media info it's very similar in Windows except when you right click it'll be in your uh, menu here you just have to go over to the side and choose media info if it doesn't show up here you can go down to other applications and choose it and then we'll add it to your list so when I click here it's going to bring it up now this is the short default but the view is easy uh, you can see it shows you the location of your file, it gives you some general information. This file has an MPEG-4 base media, shows you the file size and how long the media is, uh, the file that wrote the application, the video stream AVC, uh, the audio stream is AAC and that was what my problem was uh, for my sound and it gives you a little bit more information it's English the the video or the contents recorded both are English it shows you the bitrate 5,554 kilobytes per second it's at 1280 by 720 that video from YouTube that I got 24 frames per second and it gives you a little bit more information you get more information by choosing the text it's got a lot of different things you can choose but text gives you a very good layout and I know that's very small so let me zoom in that's good enough now when you look here uh, it shows you the location it shows you the format it shows you the file size uh, it gives you a lot of information but if you look down here under the, under the audio it shows you that the format is AAC uh, which is advanced audio codec low complexity now for my older system I do have a surround sound system uh, with a I used to be an Onkyo but I replaced it with a Denon uh, receiver it was still an older model receiver but it was new to me and it didn't have good separation from the center left right left surround right surround and then the, the low frequency which is your subwoofer it didn't have that great surround sound so I got to doing a little bit more digging and research and to come to find out it's because my audio format was in the AAC so let me back out of this but before I show you more information about the audio, let me show you a little bit about how you can use this. This gives you information about both video and audio. And you can select everything in here, right 
click and choose copy like if you're going to a Plex forum, an MB forum or just having trouble with the video or audio you can copy this content here and put in their forum and people can look at your codecs that you're using for your audio or video file and then say well that's probably your problem the program that you're trying to use it's not supporting it or you can use that information to do some digging on YouTube or on Google and you might can find the problem yourself now before I actually show you the AAC compared to AC3 let me go to a music file here you can right click on it and choose open with and I'll choose media info now you can also have media info open and just drag it and drop it on top and it will show you the information here it shows you that this audio file is 192 kilobytes per second at 44.1 kilohertz it's two channels left and right so it doesn't really have that great of surround sound for this audio file you can go into text mode and for audio you're not going to have near as much information as you have for video but I will zoom in for a moment so you can see uh, here it shows that this format is MPEG audio uh, it's 4.27 megabytes uh, it plays three minutes and six seconds. It has a constant bit rate, which is good, and it shows the writing library here. So it gives you a lot of information. Like I said, you can use the the copy and paste feature to put that in on uh, forums if you're having trouble with audio or video. Now let me get back to my video file one more time. Uh, let me open this back up. Let's say that I do want to watch a movie that I've ripped off a Blu-ray or a DVD, and I look at my media info and I see that it was a uh, in this case an AAC and I'm not going to zoom back in on it now but that's the AAC so I went and I found some information on the internet it shows AAC versus the AC3 compatibility the AAC it tells you a little bit more is designed to be the successor of MP3 format which has better sound quality than the MP3 format of similar rates uh, it's it's used it's a default format for YouTube iPhone iPod iPad Nintendo DSi 3DS iTunes DVX uh, plus web player and the PlayStation 3 a lot of things support the AAC and even my uh, surround sound did support playing the audio it wasn't blank audio it just didn't have the great surround sound sound that I was used to so then I got to looking I thought well AC3 is the Dolby Digital and that's what I have for my Denon surround sound system is it uses Dolby Digital it's widely used in high definition TV broadcasting for DVDs and Blu-ray discs and game consoles so I thought well that's my problem I need to convert all of my audio files within the videos from AC AAC to AC3 and then I replaced the files that was currently in the folder updated my Plex library and it sounded great so the first step in identifying whether or not you're having the same problem that I did is by using this little tool called media info and like I said if you go to help about you can see that this is version 19.07 and if you follow the directions on my web page which is here I show you how to install it how to uninstall it how you can go through the menu and access it how you can drag and drop a file and put into it a little bit of understanding about what you're looking at and then places you can go if your system is not updating to the newest or not installing to the newest version so this is just a little quick rundown on how to use media info it's not how to fix it later this week I will show you how you can convert an AAC to an AC3 and the AC3 is an older format but it works for you know your TVs and a TV equipment such as my Denon uh, surround sound system now you might have a newer surround sound that supports the AAC you get great surround sound uh, on your sound system and if it works fine but this is media tool here or media info tool here is great for locating those type problems hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day